Yan was started through a cooperative effort with Dr. Leanne DeRoos, uh, Professor of Women's Studies at Penn State Altoona. And Dr. DeRoos uh, came to us and uh, we came to her sort of uh, mutually um, agreeable situation and we expressed both of us a need and desire to address global issues. And Dr. DeRoos had spent a great deal of time in Africa. She wanted to create the Youth Action Network, a Canada-wide system uh, of all the high schools. In the four years that we have raised funds for them, uh, to date we've raised almost $4,100. The first money that we sent to them was used to put in, install a plumbing system, and the money since then have gone more toward the children, uh, providing supplies, equipment, and most recently some playground equipment. We're hoping with our campaign to be able to raise a lot more for them and as they grow and they receive more children, uh, their needs grow. Last year, Mr. Peter Franz uh, went there. He's an artist from Tyrone and does, uh, that's his business as an artist and he also does lectures at Penn State and was a professor there for a while. Peter goes back and forth with Dr. DeRoos and they do a lot of work with Pansy and last year, uh, Peter's group, uh, when they were there, they filmed the children, and while they were filming the children, uh, they wanted to do something special for Tyrone. So they not only did the brief video that you are watching, uh, but the poster that you see in the video is the poster that is now hanging on our wall outside the cafeteria. In addition to that, the children also made pen prints, and they put these on smaller pieces of paper. Um, they wanted to show their humanity to our humanity, to make a connection, to build a bridge. And those little handprints that you see over the walls down in the cafeteria hallway are from those children. So we ask you, the student body and staff, to walk by, to look at them carefully, and to see the wonderful things that those children sent to us. <laughs>